Uh, good morning. My name is Jun Tae-go, and I am from Kaist in Korea. Today, I am going to talk about concurrent journal file system for many core scalability. This work is the result of a collaboration between Kaist and Virginia Tech. Let me briefly outline the structure of my presentation. First, I will provide some background and motivation of our work. Then I will introduce our design and outline its key features. After that, I will present the results of our evaluation. Finally, I will wrap up with some concluding remarks. Uh, background and motivation. Hardware is rapidly evolving. We examined the CPUs and storages released between 2006 and the present. In 2006, a CPU has two cores and a storage has a throughput of 877 IOPS. Now, one of the recent CPUs has 128 cores and one of the recent SSD has 700K IOPS. In the past 17 years, the number of cores has increased 64 times and the throughput of storage has increased 798 times. How about software? Software stack on a, on a cloud server is deployed like right side of this slide. With many core CPU, there are thousands of containers or virtual machines to serve user services. Under the virtual machine, operating system is working. Operating system has its own mechanisms and data structures for its consistency or availability. However, they sometimes become a bottleneck. Um, uh, they sometimes become a bottleneck. Among them, we focused on file system journaling. Let me briefly explain how does EST for journaling work. If a transaction commit is called, running transaction is locked first. After the locking, it prepares DMA transfers. It means the right command for the transaction is allocated and dispatched to the storage. And then it waits for the completion of the DMA transfer or dispatch the command. Finally, it calls for the uh, it calls flushy for the durability of the transaction. All these steps are serial, serialized to guarantee the consistency and the right order. Here, an additional transaction commit is called during the commit of TS1. In ES Depot, to guarantee the right order between transactions, the start of the commit is delayed until the end of TS1's commit. So, all transaction commits are serialized in ES Depot. Many researchers noticed the serial journal commit and proposed various types of concurrent transaction commit. ISFS, PNFS, and JET journal designed multiple journal region. However, every transaction commit is still, uh, every transaction commit is still serialized in each journal region. ScaleFS and MQFS proposed poor running transaction. However, conflicts can occur between multiple running transactions and it still have a serial journal commit problem in each running transaction. BarrierFS designed a parallel journal commit by using their order preserving block device. They separated the journal commit into two works and pipelined these two works. However, the evaluation results show that it cannot scale well. We found that there are two main regions, transaction conflict and transaction lockup. Let me explain about transaction conflict first. Transaction conflict is a situation that a file operation modifies a page which is being committed. Here, JVD thread started to commit the TS1 and user thread called create system call. TS1 has four pages and is being committed. The create system call is going to modify the diamond page. Diamond page is being committed in TS1, so transaction complete occurs. At this situation, EXT4 blocks the create system call until the commit is finished. After the commit, the create system call is unblocked and the diamond page is inserted to the new running transaction, TX2. Because of the transaction complete, metadata operations can be blocked and the file system performance can be degraded. Second reason is transaction lockup. Transaction lockup is the locked period for isolating 
the running transaction from the file operations. Here, running transaction is text one, and three file operations are called. While three file operations are running, the transaction commit is called. The TS1 is locked and waits for returns of all file operations, which is called before the commit. During the locked time, new file operation, OP4, is called. It is blocked because the running transaction is in locked state until the return of all file operations that TS1 is waiting for. When the last file operation, OP3, returns, TS1 is unlocked and becomes a committing transition, and a new running transition, TS2, is created. The file operation, OP4, which, it, which was blocked by locked state of TS1, is coalesced to the new running transition, TS2. Because of this locked state, less file operations are coalesced to the transition, and the file system performance is degraded. To solve these two problems and achieve scalable concurrent transition commit, we propose new journaling file system, concurrent journaling file system. We named it CJFS. CJFS's purpose is pipelining multiple transaction commits so that multiple transactions are committed concurrently. For the concurrent transition commit, CJFS adopts four techniques. Dual thread journaling, multiple journal shadow paging, opportunistic coalescing, and compound flush. First technique is dual thread journaling. As I mentioned before, every journal commit is serialized in ESD4. For the concurrent journal commit, we separated the journal commit into two. Host side work, uh, including lockup and preparing DMA, and storage side work, including the DMA transfer and flush. And we pipelined these two works like below. We guarantee the right order, which was guaranteed by the serial commit by using order preserving block device. So with dual thread journaling, we can commit multiple transactions concurrently. Even so, transaction commit is separated into two, and they are pipelined. It still has a problem. Transactions should be isolated. If transactions are conflicted with each other, they cannot be committed concurrently. Here, TS1 is being committed, and TS2 commit is called. TS1 and TS2 have the same page, the square page. So commits of TS1 and TS2 are serialized because of the transition conflict between TS1 and TS2. After the TS1's commit, the square page is inserted to the TS2, and TS2's commit is started. Likewise, TS2 and TS3 have the same page, the triangle page. So they are serialized and the triangle page is inserted to the TS3 after the commit of TS2. We introduce multiple shadow paging to solve this complete problem. In multiple shadow paging, every commit creates shadow versions for the transaction to commit. And only shadow pages are committed to the storage. Here, there are four pages and TS1 commit is started. TS1 creates shadow versions of original pages and commit them. TS2 creates shadow versions of original, pa original pages and commit them too. Note that the square page in TS1 and the square page in TS2 are different versions of the same page. Finally, TS3 also creates its shadow pages and commit them. Because every transaction has their own version, every transaction can be committed concurrently without conflict. Moreover, original page cache entries are free to be modified. File operations can modify the page which has been committed without being blocked. But the number of versions are not infinite. When versions are exhausted, transaction commits are serialized again. Moreover, the learning transaction is locked and waits for preceding transaction commits. It will decrease the number of file operations which are coalesced to the transaction, and it will decrease the file system performance 
blocking file operations. So we propose opportunistic policy. In opportunistic policy, if a transaction is serialized in a locked state, it unlocks and changes the transaction's state into the running state. It allows that file operations are coalesced to the running transaction. It will increase the number of file operations which are coalesced to the transaction and finally increase the file system performance. Last technique is compound flush. Even so, we achieved the concurrent transition commit. Flushes are still serialized in inside of storage. So it cannot utilize internal parallelism of SSD. So we propose compound flush. In compound flush, flush thread first checks if there are ongoing following committing transaction. If there is ongoing following transaction, flush is replaced with cache barrier command which is a lightweight command for the right order. Here, TS1 is being committed when flush thread has to call the flush command for the durability of TS1. It checks if there is an ongoing following committing transaction. There is a TS2, so instead of the flush command, it calls the cache barrier command, and it is very lightweight. Now, Flush thread has to call the flush command for TS2. But there is an ongoing committing transition, TS3. Likewise, it calls cache barrier command instead of the flush command. Finally, after the waiting for the DMA transfer of TS3, there are, all, uh, there are no ongoing following transition. So it calls the flush command. The single flush command will flush three transactions in order with uh, utilizing the SSC internal parallelism and the right order is guaranteed by the cache barrier commands. Let me show the evaluation result. We used the Porticore machine and Samsung 970 Pro. We used the CentOS 7.4 with Linux kernel 5.18.18. We used five file systems, original EST4, Perio FS, EST4 with fast commit, span FS, and CJFS. Fast commit is latest journaling mode of EST4, and span FS is multiple journal region file system. We used four macro benchmarks, Parmel shared, Parmel split, debench, and OLTP insert. Parmel uses shared single directory, and it causes the directory contention, so we modified the Parmel workload so that it uses post-thread directory. We represent original Parmel workload as a Parmel shared and post-thread Parmel workload as a Parmel split. In all benchmarks, CJFS performs highest throughput. In Parmel shared, CJFS performs 1.6 times throughput compared to original ESD4. SpanFS and fast commit sacrifice the coalescing degree and gain parallelism. However, because of their low coalescing degree, they cannot scale well in all benchmarks. Dbench and OLTP insert call less, less app sync than Parmel workload, so performance gain is a little small in these benchmarks. Our purpose is the concurrent transition commit. Real time command queue depth shows how many concurrent transactions are being committed at the time. In ESD4, maximum command queue depth is one. In barrier FS, maximum command queue depth is two, thanks to the order preserving block device. In CJFS, multiple transactions can be committed at once, so maximum command queue depth is nine in CJFS. This is the conclusion of my presentation. We propose CJFS concurrent journaling file system. CJFS achieves concurrent transaction commit with four techniques, dual thread journaling, multiple journal shadow paging, opport sorry, opportunistic policy, and compound flush. CJFS improves the throughput 1.6 times in Parmel shared, 1.3 times in Parmel split, 1.2 times in D-Bench and 1.7 times in OHP insert compared to the original EST4. Thank you for the listening. Our source code is uploaded on the GitHub. If you have any question, please ask me. Thank you.